Good day. Welcome to another AIC Consulting How To video. In today's video, we'll demonstrate how to create notifications with dynamic details in the body and subject. I will log into Sage X3. I'm gonna click on my navigation menu under setup workflow. I'm gonna search for notifications. I'm gonna click on the new button. I'm gonna select Z P R O C R E product. Uh, let's make it supplier creation. Apologies for the code. Supply creation. Let me make it active. The event type is object. The code is BPS suppliers. Upon creation, I would like the admin user to be notified. And under my subject, uh, so a new supplier is created in Sage X3 and now I would like my subject to be dynamic. So what I'll do is I'm gonna paste this. Please note that a supplier has been created. So G user will give it the user code that created it the supplier code is so every time a supplier code is generated or entered this it will replace here so this will be dynamic and the supplier name will be dynamic okay I'm gonna click on save permission type will be entered okay just click on send email create and i'm gonna validate this very important to validate it so I'm gonna go create a supplier in CJX3 now. I'm gonna click on the navigation menu. I'm gonna search for the code supplier. Now my common data supply function. Okay, what I'll do is I'm gonna duplicate the supplier. So I'm going to duplicate the supplier, click on create, on duplication, do you see an email has gone out, page, and yeah, it will have the details. So it went out from admin to admin for our testing purposes. A new supplier is created in Sage X3. You can see that. Please note that a supplier has been created by admin because I am logged in as an admin user and the supplier code is ZAO62. The supplier name is XYZ, so Shimano South Africa. So guys, every time a new supplier is created, the notification will have dynamic details based on supplier code and supplier name. You can use additional fields in the subject, in the object, uh, in the body as per your requirement. Uh, this does get a bit tricky. If you guys do require help, please do reach out to us. I hope this video was beneficial. If it was, please like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.